at CES 2018 at the Hilby exhibit. Look at their new products or their um, second generation of their Gobi. Um, can you tell us about the Gobi? Sure, the Gobi is a fitness tracker and unlike all of the other fitness trackers on the market, it specializes in the, we're focused on the weight loss and the weight maintenance market. And unlike every other tracker out there, and I think you covered our original Gobi, uh, the uh, Gobi 2 automatically tells you the amount of calories that you've consumed, your level of hydration, even your emotional state, in addition to all of the regular tracking things, your, your, your pulse rate and your footsteps and things like that. We are at CES 2019 at the Hilby Gobi exhibit, and we're gonna check out the new Gobi 3. Hi everyone, my name is Andrew, I do PR for Hilby, and uh, this year we have a really uh, great three news. So the first, uh, first one is that our device and the technology was finally validated by the Uni University of California in Davis, uh, and we have a proven accuracy of 90% of the device, so it's uh, really huge for us, and uh, so we are happy to announce it. Uh, the next uh, good thing is that we not just uh, have the information from the device right now, but we also have an on online platform, which is a nutritionist platform, to get uh, professional uh, consultations uh, from the nutritionist. And the last, uh, and is very important for us also uh, news, is that we're going to present a new a concept of a GoB3, which will be available later this year. So it will be much smaller, uh, we'll have a display, we'll have an optical heart rate uh, sensor and a lot of stuff is going on there so uh, stay, uh, stay tuned we are happy to announce later. What are the main differences between the Hilby or the Gobi 2 and the Gobi 3? Well, uh, it's obviously uh, the size it will be much smaller it will have a touch screen display color display yeah like this uh, the sensors will be made not of stainless steel but from titanium it will have a dedicated optical heart rate sensor which will be uh, much, uh, preci much precision heart rate tracking during the physical activities. Uh, it will have a new uh, CPU unit so it will be faster and uh, uh, we also have a lot of feedback from the users that they want to have um, smartwatch functionality so it will be push notifications from your phone if you have a SMS or calls. So what else? Uh, so I think it's it's pretty uh, lo a lot of things, uh, and as I said, as uh, right now it's just a concept, but uh, half of a year later it will be uh, the final final uh, adjustments, and we will uh, announce it, and I'm I'm sure you will not miss it. Um, how do you charge the um, the gobies? Uh, so there is a cradle, magnet cradle that you put on the device, and that's it. It's about it takes uh, from 40 uh, minutes to 60 minutes to charge the device and the uh, battery lasts up to two, two days it depending on how many times do you uh, sync uh, it to your uh, mobile app. Perfect. Nice. I appreciate it. Nice Thanks Andrew. Thank Thank awesome. Cool.